it has solar panels inside of it. Inside of all the body parts are, are solar panels. The solar panels cover the wheels. The solar panels cover the battery ports that are right here. Okay. And then there's batteries up underneath the driver also. So this was, this was the final version before we built the real car. It doesn't run and it gives you, it, it actually, we worked our measurements off of this and we were very, it was very easy for us to get our patent because we had our drawings and our scale models which you need a prototype. We didn't have a full-size prototype to get our patent. It was very simple. Okay. And, um, now, what is the time schedule on your project? Uh, you said you hope to eventually be building one, of, was it one a month? We can build a car in one month, but we don't have that kind of financing, so we're, we're taking it slow. Um, Christopher Sharp from Yorkville here is a member of our car club, and he's volunteered to weld the car together. Garby Ironworks in Aurora is giving us a discount on our I-beam, so for $1,500 we're up and going. And we've got people that are pretty interested in giving us batteries and motors. And we've, we feel that we can build the next car extremely cheap, but um, we're not sure how all of the electronics are going to work. If we stayed simple, we wouldn't have any problem building one in one month if we're backed. Okay. And, um, now then, uh, you have, I know, coming up here, uh, middle of October, October 18th, you've got the second annual Renewable Energy Fair coming up, and that is, what, at Wabonzi? At Wabonzi Junior College on Route 47 campus. And will people be able to see the vehicle there? This will be the only time we will be showing our big car in public ever. We haven't taken it much further than the neighborhood. I have driven it to Wabansi and back since I live very close, three miles away. Okay. And uh, we're excited about, like I say, it's the only public showing. And if people want to come out and see it and talk to me or my two sons, this is the only place they're going to get to do that. Okay. So, and uh, there's also, I believe you said on YouTube and some of the other uh, internet sites, you can uh, view the, the vehicle as well. There's what on YouTube, Bob? Uh, where are some of the other, uh, on, on the websites, there's what? We, we have our website. Okay, uh, yes, the 123. Uh, Dreamcar123.com. And also it's linked to the Fox Valley Electric Auto Association's webpage. And it's primarily videos. There's very little writing in there. We do have a kind of a mission statement written in there and what we intend to do. That's a few pages long. And uh, I'm not really a writer. I'm a I'm a doer. <laughs> okay. Now I am like I've I've been saying. I'm just fascinated by all of this and the technology. And and do you think this is obviously you're you're building this and you think that there is a future for this? You think that uh, uh, vehicles someday in the very near future? We're we're not sure what the future holds for us, but we're hoping that people will see some of these innovations and take us a little bit serious. Maybe, you know, I know that the, the shape isn't, you know, it's, it's different. It's, it's very it's different. Radical we don't, we don't mind that. But there are some items in this car that are a must. Having an airbag, the pre-inflated pre airbag can save your life. Looking at an electric car that can go long range, it's long overdue. We feel that nobody to this point has built a ground up electric car they're, all they're kind of doing is taking existing I-beam frames and converting cars. So we're hoping that somebody, maybe a manufacturer, will see us as serious. And our best case scenario would be starting to build one a month, maybe a dozen in a year until we hone out what we need. I think I mentioned to you we have a couple of flaws. We don't have a windshield wiper blade in it yet. Ah, okay. So... You know, our next car will be a complete car. It'll be licensed. And then hopefully we'll be able to put these on eBay and sell them one at a time to finance the next car. Once we get past the next car, we're, we're going to be sitting pretty good. Great. So we unfortunately are just about out of time. Okay. Uh, once again, your website, dreamcar123.com, where you can get all the information on the EV, the electric solar-powered EV, 
and uh, all the other information. And like I said, I'm just fascinated. I just like a kid in a candy store looking at all of this. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. We hope everything works out well for you in, in this endeavor and with the crosses for losses and all your other endeavors. Uh, appreciate very much, Greg Zanish, for coming out today and talking to us and showing uh, prototypes of your vehicle. And as I said, we wish you uh, the best and all the success in the future. Thank okay, you very thank much. Thank you very much. And it was such an honor to be on your show. Oh, it's an honor to have you on the show. And uh, like I said, I'm just fascinated by it all. Uh, that, unfortunately, is going to do it for Fox Valley Today Headline Makers. We have, unfortunately, run out of time. Uh, but uh, we appreciate your tuning in. We hope everyone has a great weekend. And we hope you'll be able to join us again next week. Take care.